Hello guys, today in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to edit and how to render video clips in Camtasia Studio. So let's start. First you need to open Camtasia Studio. And after you open Camtasia Studio, we have uh, two options adding a video clip. First option is import media and all you need to do is just select your video and click open. The second option is much faster and it's just dragging a video into Camtasia. And after you drag a video in Camtasia you need to drag into this track and in dimensions select YouTube and HD click OK and now let's uh, edit video uh, first I want to add uh, some difference in this video uh, I'm going to uh, cut video so how to do that is just simply just move this uh, green or red and just select a part of this video you want to cut and all you need to do is just click this button cut and like see the video is cutted um, next option I want to add is to split my video so how to do that uh, select the part of your video you want to uh, split and then click this button split and like see now I have two part two parts uh, between this part we can add uh, transitions so we have we can add a blend fade glow or anything else so I'm going to add uh, fade and you need to drag this on this arrow like me and that's it uh, the next you need to go to this first option and this is like short menu and we have shapes with text so select your favorite shape I'm gonna choose this box and like you see if you don't like this color or size you can just change the size of this shape and then I'm going to change a color I'm gonna to set to to white and I'm going to change the color of the text it's black now type your message uh, now you can choose the size of your text to to be much bigger like see okay the next uh, option we have effects we have shadow uh, we have style but I think so that first one is best we have transparency now it's like a glow or glass uh, okay that's it for this option or you can just uh, edit right here or you can just uh, call out duration so enter your duration to two seconds click OK and that's it uh, the next one is sketch so I want to add a red arrow into my video or I want to add this one and if you want to cir circle something important to show the people like this one okay um, 
and now we have more options right here special we have blur if you want to hide something and we have effects we have more blur set to 100 okay uh, we have a spot light if you want to uh, spot something important and if you want to show a spe specific uh, part in video like this one and don't forget to edit duration of this okay the next one we have high lighter it's like color I'm going to change that into red or blue and also this is not a bad option um, the next we have transparent hotspot so you can add your text Uh, the next option in Camtasia is text uh, but text without shapes so this is very good in Camtasia so add your text and like see you don't see the shapes so this is a very good option uh, next one option is traditional keystrokes so I'm holding shift and if I press uh, G or anything else oops I need to enter keystroke right here I'm holding my shift and let's see shift plus G I press that we have effects uh, let's see it's very good uh, if you want to edit your video loading uh, image you can just uh, select your image and click open then you can resize this uh, something like this okay and if you want to this picture be in whole video just right click and go to color duration and set to 80 or more I don't know and that's very good if you want to add a picture and we have legacy callouts and this is uh, very boring and not interesting so I'm going to skip this uh, I'm show you all these options let's see what we have here we have zoom so what means that if I move this scale to something this okay if I and if I play video and if I stop and then scale back to normal and if I play video again you can see the difference and this is very good option if you want zoom something important in video uh, and if you want to remove this zoom keyframes click yes and you're done that the uh, next uh, important option in Camtasia is audio so we have more options right here I'm gonna show you all first one is enable volume leveling so you can choose high volume medium volume low or custom size custom settings uh, but better option is that do not touch this because you can screw something okay and next option is very very good if I click enable noise removal and all my no noise in the video will be done will be gone okay and this is very good if you have a uh, noise in your video 
you can just click this option and the noise will be gone next option is enable voice optimization we have male or female so choose male or female and then click volume down or, or volume up uh, okay we are done with this audio and I'm I'm show this we have more options cursor effect but don't touch anything about this and actually guys that's it about uh, editing video in Camtasia we are done with this and now we're going to produce and share a video uh, click on custom production settings and go next and in formats uh, select QuickTime Movie if you don't have QuickTime Movie you need to go to this uh, website the link is in the description below and you need to enter your email address uh, select your country and click on download now after you download and install QuickTime Movie 7 you need to download XVID Codex so this link will be in the description below and all you need to do is just click here to download and you are done then after you chose QuickTime Movie click next go to QuickTime options go to settings quality set to high or best whatever you like click OK OK go next and in custom size set this and click next and the next good option in Camtasia Studio 7 is adding a logo or watermark so I'm going to options and image path I'm going I'm going to select my picture and before you add your picture uh, the picture must be in PNG format so watch my previous video how to um, how to make the PNG picture in Photoshop and then you can add your picture click OK or you can just uh, choose these settings we have image scale we have horizontal or vertical offset okay click OK go next next and now enter your production name uh, enter the folder that you want to save this file or production then you can just uncheck these two options and click finish and after your video is done you can watch it okay guys and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and see you next time bye